Hi, this is Leo from ThemeChills.com and in this video I'm just going to show you how to go about creating the timeline page that you see here. As you can see, there's various events that have occurred. So let's just add a new one to the bottom. So the order of the events is the oldest to the newest. So um, just to, to give you a bit of context. And you can actually uh, schedule events in the future so that'll mean that all you'll have a future date showing up here so let's just do a demo right now let's say it's a wedding day celebration it is one of the most something like that. So then what you'll do, you'll add a featured image and for the sake of the demo, let's just add this one. What I like to do is actually edit the image a bit just so it stays in a say 4x3 ratio. You don't have to because the page will accommodate but you can actually say crop it and say we go for 500 by 500 which is a nice square kind of shape and then we crop it okay so we save that we'll set as featured image and we'll publish that so when I refresh the page there you go as you can see it set today's date but if I wanted to I could actually select a future date and that'll show up here as well and that's pretty much all there is to creating a timeline page one thing to bear in mind though is when you are creating a timeline page or an events page you will need to create the page itself first and then the associated events will fall under it. You'll need to select the timeline page template and that's all there is to it. Hope that helps you out and if you have any questions feel free to let me know. Thanks for now.